So here I'm going to show you how to animate a callout in Camtasia. So let's assume you've recorded some notes and you've brought in your recording to your Camtasia project and now you don't want all of this showing at first and maybe you don't even want all of this definition showing at first. So what you can do is cover up the things you want to hide with boxes. So come over here and click on callouts. You may have to click the little down arrow here and then you're going to choose simple rectangle. Now we want this rectangle to be white so come over here to fill and select white. Now I'm going to have this box position so that it covers up all this stuff on the bottom. Just resize it to whatever you want it to be. I also might want to cover up some parts of the definition so that when the screen first appears only maybe the first part of the definition shows up. So now let's make a couple more boxes. I'm just going to click on the box down here I don't know how long it's going to have to be. I'll just stretch it out a little bit for now. I'm going to do a control C to copy it and a control V to paste another one. Now I'm going to take this second box and move it up here so it's covering up that diagram. I want to reveal that diagram later. And maybe I want a third box that covers up this part of the definition. So I can just do another control V, paste another box in there, and move that one to cover up the rest of the definition here. Okay, so assuming you've got however many boxes you want on there, I'm resizing them to cover up so that when the page first comes up it's only showing this much of the definition. Now I want to make sure if I have a title graphic or if I'm coming in from another page that anything isn't showing like as the transition happens I don't want this stuff down here showing so what I'm going to do is take this title animation I have, move it up, get all these boxes underneath of it so that as the animation goes away it just reveals exactly what I want on the screen. Okay so now let's animate these boxes so that it reveals things when I want. So as I'm going along in the instructional video Maybe I'm ready to reveal this part of the definition now. I can reveal all of it or just some of it. So I can reveal all of it by once by just clicking on the box and I can put a fade out in right here. And I change the fade out time to say one second. So I enter 1.0 and hit enter and then I can put where I want it to fade out and now if I hit play on my video right here that box will just fade away. So that's one way to do it. Now if you didn't want the whole thing to show up all at once and you wanted just a little bit at a time what you can do instead of fading it out you can put an animation in there. Now the way you do that is you have to get to more, click on visual properties, select that rectangle that you want to animate, and then come up here to the top and click add animation. And now you can see there's a little arrow that appears. I'm going to zoom in so you can see it better. 
and maybe at this point of the video I want to just reveal that part or maybe you want to go to the whole thing it which whatever it is let's suppose you just want to reveal that part so if you get before the animation you can see the the box is there now if I hit play it reveals just that part and then if later I want to reveal the rest of it then once again I can just have it fade out if I hit play then the rest of it appears now if I want to highlight over certain areas and have that highlighter move, I could come to wherever it is in the video, click on call out, click the down arrow, and select highlighter. So now I can put the highlighter wherever I want. If I hit play, the highlighter will show up there. If I want to move that highlighter to another section, I can animate it. So I make sure that that highlighter is clicked, come to Visual Properties, add an animation, and as long as you're after the arrow, you just have to be after it. Let me zoom in a little. Now move the highlighter to where you want it to be. Maybe now you want it to be here, Wh whatever it is. Now you can see if you move your cursor to before the highlighter comes in and hit play, the highlighter will start out here and then move down here. Now if that's too fast, you can slow down how fast the animation goes and that's done by changing the length of the arrow. So here you can see how fast it goes pretty fast. If I wanted it to move more slowly I just make that arrow last longer. And the time you can see where it says duration the time of the arrow is two seconds long now. So now if I get in front of the animation and I hit play you can see that that motion is a lot slower now. So you can play around with how fast you want that motion to happen. If you just want to reveal part of your notes at a time or fade out the whole thing all at once, you can do that. So you've got lots of options. You can, if I get back in front over here, if I hit play, you can see that I reveal part and then coming up I reveal all the rest of it then maybe I want to highlight a little section then I want to move that highlighter down to this section so there's lots you can do and then as I want to reveal the graph that would be this box and once again I could fade it out or I could reveal it slowly so I could either put an animation on this box so if I put an animation there and maybe it, you know I change the time if I want as long as I'm after the animation I can just resize the box so now if I go in front of that it's going to open that up in that manner if I want it to go more slowly I make that animation longer and then you can see it just opens it up more slowly. Another option is remember you can click on the box, go to callouts, and then just have it fade out. And you can change how long the time is for it to fade out. If you want it to be one second, put in one second. So then if we come here, we can see that this bottom box will just fade out. So there's a couple easy ways to animate callouts.